Hello, today is day two of Daily Dose of Deliverance. And we just started last night on this little journey together. And um, tonight I'm using a little light and a, a phone stand for my friend Anne, which is making it a lot easier. Um, but on this Daily Dose of Deliverance, it's a journey. And Jesus came to set the captives free, the Bible tells us. He wants his people free. He doesn't want us to struggle. He doesn't want us to suffer. He doesn't want us to have half of the things that we're carrying around. We're carrying around things that we weren't meant to carry. And that is not what God intended. He wants his people to be set free. So today, last night was on fear. He wanted to deliver his people from fear. And tonight he wants to deliver his people from anxiety and these two things kind of go hand in hand, fear and anxiety. But um, if you're an anxious person, you probably have some fear as well. But anxiety is something that's really, inf it's just, I almost said infecting, but it's kind of affecting many, many people right now. I'm seeing people that have anxiety that's uh, mild anxiousness to um maybe moderate anxiousness to being severely anxious to the point where they really, they can't get up and go to work. They can't do things. They can't function. And it can be really debilitating. So God doesn't want that for his people. He doesn't want us to be anxious. And as a matter of fact, in Philippians 4, verse 6, I want to give you a scripture. I'm reading my notes. If you see me looking down, it says, be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And then if you continue on to verse 7, it says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So it is very clear, the Bible makes it clear that we are not to be anxious for anything. And now that seems kind of simple to say. Many people try to deal with their anxiety on their own and they may go to different various things to try to get that anxiety under control. They might go to alcohol, they may go to drugs, they may go to prescription medication. There's a lot of things out there. There's all natural things that people are trying to take to reduce anxiety. Um, we can try to figure out what's making us anxious in the natural and try to figure out how to, to get rid of it. But sometimes we can't just get rid of it on our own. It's a little harder than that. So God is a supernatural God. And we depend on the Holy Spirit who is our helper. And the Holy Spirit wants to get rid of these things for us. So I'm going to share um, a little story with you in a minute. But I want to tell you what anxious means uh, in the dictionary. Merriam-Webster Dictionary says that anxious or anxiety is characterized by extreme uneasiness of mind or brooding fear about some contingency. They're worried. And it's also characterized by or resulting from or causing anxiety, something that causes anxiety. So it could be, you know, um, in the school, we'll say sometimes that kids have test-taking anxiety. So they're anxious about taking tests that they have to um, do. They might not have studied for them, or maybe they're just a poor test taker. So we'll sometimes say that kids have test-taking anxiety. But anxiety could be, you know, there's typical anxiety. You're anxious about starting a new job. You're anxious that you can't pay bills. You're anxious that um, you have to do something new that you're not familiar with. So there's so many ways that we feel anxious. And sometimes we try to figure out our anxiety or how to handle it on our own. But it's not that easy. Sometimes someone will try to mask their anxiety and it's only for a short amount of time that they can even mask it and then it comes back. Um, and so I have a little testimony to share a personal story of deliverance that I had from anxiety. I grew up as a very, very anxious child, very anxious. I had stomach issues because of my anxiety. I was sick a lot because of my anxiety. I was just an anxious kid. And, um, 
I had gone to a healing conference, a healing crusade of Benny Hens. My sister had invited me and I went up for prayer, not really knowing I was going to get touched by the Holy Spirit. I had no idea what that meant, but, um, but I did have a supernatural encounter with God that night and it forever changed my life. And I didn't even realize that I was delivered from anxiety until, I don't know, later on when I, I don't know what even happened, but I realized um, I don't feel anxious. And I knew that night I kept saying to my sister, something happened, something happened to me and I couldn't describe what it was. But later on, I realized I was delivered from anxiety. I used to be very anxious and then I just, I just wasn't anymore. And so, um, I know the power of God and how real he is and he helps us and delivers us and heals us from our diseases, our emotions, our anxieties, our turmoil, whatever we're going through, he will deliver us from it. And so he's faithful. And, um, Jesus came to del deliver the captives and to set his people free. That's what he wants. So we are going to pray tonight. We're going to ask the Holy Spirit to deliver us from anxiety. We're going to ask God to supernaturally intervene and to heal us. It's really a healing, I, I think. It's a deliverance, but it's also a healing. And healing and deliverance kind of go hand in hand. And so, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for whoever is watching that has anxiety, some people are crippled by it, Lord, and you know that. That's why you're putting this on my heart to do this tonight. Father, I ask that in the mighty name of Jesus, you will heal these people from whatever is causing their anxiety. Reveal to them, Father, if there's things they need to change in their lives, if there are things that they they need to eliminate or or add to, maybe they need more sleep, Father, whatever it is, I just ask that you would just reveal it to your people. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of anxiety from operating through your people. I bind it. It means we're restricting it. And I ask, Father, that you would loose your peace. I bind that anxiety from operating in your people and in its place, I lose your peace, Father, your supernatural peace by your Holy Spirit. I thank you that you delivered me so many years ago and you are no respecter of persons. So, Father, I ask that you would just loose your peace into your people tonight. That they wouldn't have to feel anxious anymore. That you would give them sweet sleep. That you would give them peace, peace of mind, peace in their heart. And that they would just start to trust you, Father. That they would know you're real. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I pray that this prayer helped you. I pray that you share this with people. Because there's a lot of anxious people out there. And so if this prayer helped you tonight, it's very simple. I think what God wants us to know on this little journey of daily deliverance, um, daily dose of deliverance, that... We can just talk to God. You know, I'm so grateful for my mom. My mom um, raised me to always be able to just talk to God. She would say, Maria, just talk to him. He'll hear you. And he answers your prayers. And he does. And he's faithful. And it's a supernatural process. So we don't understand how it happens. You know, just like when I got delivered from anxiety, I didn't even know what was going on, but I did get set free. And once you're set free, you're free indeed. And so I pray that you continue on with this journey tomorrow. I don't know what time I'm heading on here because I have to work tomorrow. I have to prepare a message for Sunday um, for preaching, but I will be on um, with our new daily dose, which I don't know what it is yet, but we'll have a daily dose for deliverance um, tomorrow, which is Saturday. Um, so tune in for day three, and I hope to see you soon.